Well, hello, my friends. Uh, today we begin the book of Lamentations, the Lamentations of Jeremiah. There are five chapters, and each uh, uh, stand can stand alone of the lament of Jeremiah over Judah. Now, we look in these chapters, and we can see that Jeremiah is really struggling because of what is taking place. In fact, I begin in chapter number one, and he says, For these things I weep, my eyes flow with tears, for a comforter is far from me, one to revive my spirit. And then we go on over uh, to chapter number one, verse 20. Look, O Lord, for I am in distress. My stomach churns. Uh, uh, my heart is wrung within me because I have been very rebellious. In verse 21, they heard my groaning, yet there is no one to comfort me. And then we look over in chapter 2, verse number 11. My eyes are spent with weeping. My stomach churns. My bile is poured out to the ground because of the destruction of the daughter of my people. Because infants and babies faint in the city, streets of the city. And he goes on and he talks about some of the tragic things that are happened there in Jerusalem. And friends, I see in Jeremiah a sincere heart of um, of concern and and lamentation and friends you and i i think it's important for us to lament over our nation lament over our communities lament over our our families that have gone astray and are rebellious and because we are uh we are in trouble my friends our as a nation uh we must intercede as believers you see, if we would intercede and pray as much as we complain, we might could see some things uh, differently. We might would see some some miracles take place if we, instead of complaining all the time about the way our country is going, if we would just lament and cry out to God and repent, forgive us, Lord, for the direction that we are headed and turn us back to you. We need to be back into a relationship with God. So I encourage you, friends, let's let's begin to lament ourselves and seek God and turn from our wicked ways. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.